everybody. Uh, in this occasion, I would also like to thank the Academy for inviting me and giving this opportunity to share some of our work which we have been doing at uh, Indian Association for the Cultivation of Science for some time. So today I will be talking on uh, anion chemistry and the uh, title of my ta talk is Recognition, Sensing and Separation of Anions. So uh, first uh, we should know why this chemistry is important. So if we see these anions are throughout the natural world, so starting from water and a lot of problems it creates uh, in environment as well as many other cases, so health related problem. But this chemistry is not developed that much. So uh, it's very uh, quite young field compared to metal chemistry. So we are trying to develop various receptor molecules which can trap or bind this uh, different anions selectively. So before that, uh, just I would like to mention that uh, the what kind of research we are doing in our group. So we are working uh, four closely related areas in supramolecular chemistry. So first one is the anion recognition, which I will be talking today. And we are uh, working on ion sensing, both cation as well as anion. So uh, probably I will touch a little bit. And then uh, we are working on molecular self-assembly, where we are uh, functionalizing molecules and making channels and trying to we are trying to trap unusual guest molecules inside the cavity and we are also working on heterometallic uh, uh, triple strand helicates so uh, in that uh, things and fourth one so this is uh, we have started uh, around 2010 interlocked molecular systems and this year Nobel prize has gone to uh, this area uh, like say uh, by Subhaj Stoddart and uh, Ben Feringa so uh, we, we, we have started uh, this work uh, quite some time back and we are preparing this rotaxin molecule which will have multifunctional groups and we, are, uh, we have developed these things and uh, maybe some other time we will talk this in details with some more there. So anion recognition chemistry what we are trying we are doing basic science that coordination chemistry of anions. So that like say like metal ions. So what is the coordination number of a particular anion? How this shape depends on, on the selectivities and all these things. And that means end of the day we are get, uh, going to get say selective receptors for individual anions. And then we are trying to use those things. Some potential applications can we use for chemical separation or some kind of clean environment in water problem or some sensing purpose. So, <coughs> So this chemistry, as I told, this is belongs to supramolecular chemistry, and this was uh, first Nobel Prize in supramolecular chemistry was in 1987, and this Patterson he started this work, that uh, uh, discovery of crown ether accidental discovery, and then uh, John Mary Lane and Donald Cram they joined, and uh, in 87 they got this Nobel Prize for for the development and use of molecules with structure specific interaction of high selectivity. And this work was done, this du uh, uh, Patterson, he worked in DuPont company and same time this anion chemistry was also started. This is by Parker, Park and Simmons and that was also from DuPont. And that metal ion chemistry uh, reached some point but it was ignored for some time. So after uh, the 68 paper, uh, I think they published a series of JCS paper and then this field remained dormant till 1975. Uh, then they got the structure of this uh, chloride complex. So chloride will be inside and this it will form hydrogen bond and it will recognize the chloride inside the cavity. But if you see again that like coordination chemistry of metal ion is a from Alfred uh, Warner time. So 1893 and this first report is 1968. So this is around 75 years gap between metal ion chemistry versus anion chemistry. So uh, uh, it is really needed because otherwise say it's impossible if we say this we have to remove fluoride from water. So and arbitrarily we cannot do, we have to develop the chemistry or arsenic problem. So uh, uh, we are trying to develop those receptor molecules and this is the difference between the metal chemistry and anion chemistry. Here there is a coordinate covalent bond and here we have to go through hydrogen bonding interactions. 
So basically, um, that again, this coordinates and number is the number of hydrogen bond it forms. So based on that, uh, basically, uh, we, we develop. But this anion chemistry has some difficulties. Uh, it's because the size are larger than cations, they are different shape. So metal ion means always spherical. But if you see anions, say halides, they are spherical, the azide, cyanide, linear, planar, tetrahedral, octahedral, all kinds of shapes available in the anion chemistry. And most important part is that their hydrogen energy is very high. So they want to be associated with water. So if we want to address uh, those problems, we have to overcome the hydrogen energy. So that's what solvation of anions plays a very important role. And anions generally have high solvation energies and th thus generally people do this chemistry in non-polar solvent or we have to create a micro environment so that anion will be attracted and it will be recognized. So uh, if you see the biology, there's like a sulfate binding protein, chloride, they are recognized inside the pocket. And based on that, what is our approach? So we are trying to develop molecular capsule so that it will have like a half capsule, this is a uh, one side. So that covalent synthesis, you can make a covalent capsule. We'll have uh, some space inside and we will have recognition element accordingly based on the uh, anions or some kind of anion assisted assembly. So it will assemble and make like a dimeric capsules or metal ion assisted cell assembly. This kind of things we are trying to do uh, trying to develop the different synthetic receptor. So in this uh, regard, so what we are doing, we are uh, using all these kind of building blocks. So it's like a platform we use this is denoted here. We are using this kind of recognition element. We are using this kind of weak interactions like a, from hydrogen bonding and some new interaction like anion pi interactions as well as halogen bonding also we have started recently to uh, capture this, this. And this attached unit, so this will control the acidity of the uh, particular recognition site so that it will bind to the uh, basic anion. So first category of uh, receptor we develop is that covalent capsule means uh, this is like this three dimensional. So like egg shaped molecule. And this is the thing, so these three molecules are uh, reported in the literature, people are working in this area. So this is by Jomery Lane uh, uh, sometime back uh, in 89, then uh, Nelson Group, Arthur Martin. So when we started in this area, we picked these three molecules. Other people are also working uh, throughout the globe. We also started and uh, we, uh, we did, means basically this is, it binds metal ion. If you protonate this particular uh, all these nitrogen atoms, it will be anion receptors because you will have ammonium and it will bind to <coughs> anion very nicely. Then after that, we have developed new receptors and we have done extensive work in these covalent capsules. And even we can show this particular one, this is a kind of upper portion is a amide cleft and this is which has some directionality and this when you put it ammonium, it is non-directional. So within a cage, even we can bring selectivity. If we uh, try halide, it will bind at the uh, this lower pocket, whereas the perchlorate or sulfate, it will bind to this amide center, so like this kind of thing. So this is a selectivity within the molecular uh, by cage, we can bring that kind of uh, thing uh, in the system. And uh, basically, we have explained everything that when this is a molecule, if we protonate, how conformation change, how guest entering into the cavity and uh, recognize in the uh, cavity. Even we have made like say, can we put more than one guest inside the cavity? So like here you can say bichloride recognition inside the cavity. And uh, so this, this work uh, is already uh, is also appreciated by this recent book in anion coordination chemistry by Christian Bauman, James uh, Bianchi and Ispana. So they have uh, acknowledged our work that Nelson, Bauman, James Fabrizi and Ghosh among others have contributed extensively in this chemistry. So uh, this is uh, some kind of our work they are mentioned in that book. Then we thought, sir, can we, is it necessary to have that covalent capsule, like say, so to make it simplify, so what we did, so if we take this off, so we'll get tripodal system, so basically this. And there was one group in US, they uh, told that, okay, if you protonate these things, what will happen, it will make some kind of C2 be symmetric because they will repel each other, is a phenyl ring. Then uh, with the help of some theoretical data, 
So what we thought, see if we make this pent up fluoro, that will be kind of center will be electro positive. So it will then form like a C3 V symmetric cap. So by simple changing from phenyl to penta fluorophenyl, you can make symmetry change like C2 V symmetry to C3 V symmetric and you can see very nicely it is making this and bromide or chloride is binding inside the cavity. And uh, all these uh, solution studies and uh, association constant we have calculated and then from this ammonium we shifted to other system like a amide uh, like a when you take ammonium this you will have other counter anion outside. So uh, we have made totally neutral receptor like this uh, amide and only one anion it can bind so there will be no other, no other anion outside the cavity kind of thing. So uh, basically uh, this concept also is very appreciated that when you put this kind of uh, um, like anion pi interaction so like this by uh, one perspective by Ian Ridai the two excellent synthetic examples of such rational design based on anion pi interaction have been recently reported that is one from US and this is our group have taken advantage of both hydrogen bonding and anion pi interaction to design and prepare tripodal molecule to bind to make a C3 V symmetric cleft for uh, halide recognition. So we have moved here to here, then we have made amide system, then now amide to UDI if we go, go so this will give one hydrogen bonding center, then you get two. Now all the previous thing mostly they like halide. Then if you go to UDI system, so we get six hydrogen bonding unit and they exist like a dimeric, so not I can get. So compared to like say uh, lanthanide and uh, transition metal, so they like higher coordination number and in this kind of receptor we have extensively shown that it binds like say dihydrogen phosphate, this kind of first example of recognition of di dihydrogen phosphate inside the cavity, sulphate, carbonate and all kinds of thing. And if you, if you see coordination number is uh, from halide 6 we are going 18, 15, 14 and 16 kind of thing. So this kind of receptor can be used for uh, capturing oxy anions and all these things. And we have done all thermodynamic studies to know that how it is going like say whether it is uh, uh, entropy driven or enthalpy driven and whatever. So all details we have done uh, in this study. Then uh, we have tried this receptor for towards uh, arsenic uh, encapsulation. Again this is a first example of uh, trapping arsenate inside the molecular ca capsule um, uh, in, in, in the first uh, report. And then uh, uh, we change from like say nitrogen bridged like this. If we make this uh, platform wider, we get this kind of receptor. And this is again you can see that this is nicely captured hydrated fluoride. Means uh, one of the things that if we try only fluoride, so that is uh, kind of uh, difficult because hydration energy is very high. But instead of that, if we try the cluster, fluoride water cluster, so fluoride we like to uh, be associated with water. So six water molecule oxygen and two fluorine atoms. So it makes like this a nice cage and we trap these things. And again, again, it was kind of uh, very nice paper that uh, this uh, approach is, uh, is good to, to have uh, to remove fluoride from uh, water. Then we have made other uh, hexaprotal receptor which has given much uh, the kind of higher generation receptor. So all these things is there, this halogen bonding based. So I am not going in details for developing these uh, various receptor molecules. And this halogen bonding is a very nice thing. So we can, uh, if we see uh, chloride selectivity we can get, but if I want to get the bromide, so how do we do, do it? So in that case, see, if you see this particular system gives, uh, because this uh, goes via polarizability of this uh, atom, so it uh, gives preference towards bromide over chloride. So uh, we can get an, uh, selectivity reversal uh, by changing hydrogen bonding to uh, halogen bonding case. Then uh, uh, these are the things, then uh, applications uh, we have whatever tried, like say can we use this receptor towards uh, carbon dioxide uh, sequestration. So uh, this is, uh, we have uh, shown that uh, we can capture carbon, um, uh, carbonate from carbon dioxide, liquid liquid extraction of sulphate, chromate and fluoride 
again we can extract pure potassium fluoride potassium chloride even kbr selectively depending upon the situation so this particular slide shows we can if we take this receptor and dissolve it in some solvent and keep it uh, overnight it will show you that these crystals are hanging it, it it captured carbon dioxide in the form of carbonate and we can regenerate these things so we can get back these things and we can again use these things so uh, after that the using that carbonate capsule we have used to extract sulfur like a liquid liquid extraction that is a industrial process so one can do these things and we have shown that we can quantitatively remove uh, sulfate from water and that again based on the hydration energy pattern and selectivity uh, pattern of that particular receptor. So this is what is happening, this is a uh, half capsule, it is capturing carbonate from uh, uh, carbon dioxide in the form of carbonate and then we can reverse it and even we can uh, do like a metathesis like say, uh, carbonate is coming out and sulphate is getting in. So we can get from your uh, hard water to uh, like a carbonated water kind of thing. And we have uh, tried so there is a uh, higher uh, pH like basic pH can we extract this that is very useful for nuclear waste uh, fuel reprocessing that uh, it contains lot of uh, sulphate, thiosulphate and uh, that pH is very high. So other receptor it shows it can do that thing. And uh, other metal salts extraction using dual host strategy like a crown ether in combination with anion receptor we can uh, extract potassium fluoride and it is a structure so fluoride is sitting here and potassium is here so is a kind of uh, 1D polymer so it is giving you the extraction of potassium fluoride from water. And uh, we have shown this KBR uh, like a dual host again this is an integrated system so crown ether versus this anion binding site which can do this all kind of thing and here we have shown that cooperativity effect uh, by putting this hetero system. Now again this capsular assembly we can do see the dynamic nature like a acid based control modulation of capsular size a bigger size smaller size at the molecular level temperature dependent opening of and closing of capsular so we have a capsule a stopper so by temperature we can open it and close it and uh, anion assisted if I dope anion I can assemble and disassemble the molecular capsules. So these are the all things so I am not going uh, in details uh, for this uh, work. So this is like uh, is a cation is acting as cap and this is you can by heat you can open it and then cool it it will just join. So and again here I have showed that uh, like say by doping chloride the nitrate uh, zipped your capsule and if I uh, remove two nitrate these two chloride it will open the capsule so some kind of a proof of concept experiment. And now what we are doing we are trying to use this uh, receptor towards industrial applications. So like say the cyanide in steel in industry. So uh, we, have, uh, we have got a uh, big project from uh, one industry. So they have big problem because the waste water contain lot of cyanide and it goes to rivers and lakes. And uh, we are applying some of our receptor to do that thing and I am not showing that particular molecule but we can see uh, we have already shown that 60 to 70 percent without changing their structure whatever uh, the facilities they have only thing like a flocculant we can uh, add this uh, our receptor molecules and to remove this particular thing. And uh, end of the talk I just wanted to show that we are developing new sensor molecules uh, using new kind of signaling unit and new interactions towards the uh, sensing of uh, phosphate ion. and uh, these highlights I have already talked about all these things uh, uh, molecular capsules for anion recognition, arsenate uh, uh, capsulation, fluoride water and selectivity within the cavity. We have shown that uh, uh, carbon dioxide fixation, liquid liquid extraction, even uh, uh, valuable salt from uh, uh, aqueous media, dynamic nature of uh, molecules and uh, this is uh, my group, present group and uh, I, I thank uh, all of them for contributing in this work and financial support from Sornajan the Fellowship, ACRB, DST, CSIR, Tata Steel and ISCS and thank you all for your attention.